I got my whole forehead in the camera and there are no baby hairs. You know I'm confident. Cause it's usually be a this or that or this. Hi ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It is another cozy night in. Get ready with me. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. We haven't done a sit down, get ready with me. I ain't going nowhere chat i think in a little minute i felt like it's been like a couple weeks and i miss y'all i miss chatting so today for this get ready with me girl we're gonna talk we're gonna chat we're gonna rant like i do and we're gonna do a little bit of hair and a little bit of a face we're gonna do a little bit of a transformation i want to be a new girl today so that's what i decided to do baby th this is basically a transform yourself inside and out sort of chat you know <laughs> oh i got makeup on my teeth transform who oh my god why don't y'all tell me? Y'all ain't real friends. <laughs> Babes, you see this hair? Look, friend. I got my whole forehead in the camera and there are no baby hairs. You know I'm confident. Cause it's usually be a this or that or this. I would like to say thank you to RPG Show for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this portion of this video. Babe, we're about to get into all of it. But before we do that, ha, I almost got you. Could you subscribe and hit the post notification bell? Just so you can see every single time I post, because I'm coming to you every single week with brand new wigs, brand new hair, all types of stuff. So a brand new look is basically watching a different person every day. We're going to go ahead and get into this hair now. Oh, as I was saying, like it has this really like natural sort of look, which I've been into because y'all know I can't be wearing my natural hair. Grab a little popcorn, grab a little snack, snuggle up because we're about to chat a little bit and get into this hair. I'm going to give you more details on how I applied this wig and how I got this look. And then we're gonna go ahead and chat and get into the face. So if you wanna see how I got this full, complete look from forehead to chin, <laughs> please keep on watching and I'll be back to get into the face. So your wig is gonna come in the RPG Show packaging. Obviously the RPG Show packaging is absolutely gorgeous. And when you take your wig out of the box you can see that it also comes with gifts it comes with a wax stick a headband a little magazine that i actually got distracted reading and a storage bag now you also see that you have your gorgeous wig now this wig is a 13 by 6 lace frontal short wavy layered bob wig it has dark brown with caramel blonde highlights and it is 14 inches long 200 percent density and you're able to customize this wig the best thing about rpg show is that you can customize how pre-plucked this wig is, the lace tint, um, the scalp color, all of that. So this wig came pre-plucked, bleach knots, ready to go. Girl, you can even pick how bleach you want your knots. I mean, that is insane. But as you can see, this wig came with this pre-plucked hairline and all I had to do was flatten the hairline backwards because that's how I like to wear my wigs. I like to flatten the hairline just to show it off a little bit, give it a little bit more pizzazz, make it look a little bit more natural. And after I did that, you can see that the wig basically looks done. It is gorgeous, this hairline. Now, once I pull the wig forward, I tried to see if the lace is gonna blend into my skin and I wanted to see if I really would need lace tint and it didn't look like it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off this lace. Now I'm using my Annie stainless steel shears to cut off the lace. And of course I'm just doing the zigzag method all the way across the forehead. I usually leave about, what a centimeter or half a centimeter? I don't even know the measurement girl of lace. Um, after I cut off the lace, of course, we're just going to go ahead and lay it down. I do not use glue. I'm not a glue girly. I am a spray girly. So I like to use the Even Lace Bond Spray to lay down my wig. Now I do that in sections. So I do tiny sections and I do my ear tabs less because the ear tabs are going to get you every single time. So what I like to do to do my ear tabs, which I found works the best, is spray under the lace dry it and then spray over the lace to make sure it sticks because my my ear tabs pop up like a whack-a-mole every single time girl it's too much but this lace was so easy to lay and i um decided to dry it using my blow dryer and then that's it girl literally that's it now i was considering baby hairs but it looks so good that i was like you know what i think i'm out of my baby hair era not all the time but if the lace is laying we don't need baby hairs and it melts right into the skin. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down the hairline using the RPG Show 
band i love this band because the velcro on the back doesn't work for me because my head's too small but i let it sit on my head for like 10 minutes and once i popped her off girl it was more melted than before it looks amazing now the only thing i needed to do because obviously this wig was in the box and packaged i need to get rid of that boxed wig look where it's kind of hype at the top y'all know what i'm talking about if you wear wigs you already know so I used a little bit of the wax stick to also tame the flyaways because there was a good amount of flyaways on the top of this wig. Now, as you can see, the hair is already bouncy. It's already cut. It's ready to be styled. And I wanted to style this hair closer to what the picture looked like. So this one, the way it came out of the box, it had like that curled under sort of 90s look. And I wanted the more... What was that? Like Rachel off her friends look? I don't know. Like it had like a another 90s style sort of look. Like it looked more like uh, what 702. How'd I go from Rachel to 702? I don't know. But one of the girls in 702, that's how she used to wear her hair, from what I can remember. So that's the look I was going for. So I used my this is like a I think it's called Vasari. I think that's what that curler is called, but it's like a round brush. Yes, Vasari. It's a round brush, but it's not a round brush. So it doesn't have the blow dryer setting, but it heats up and it you can treat it like a round brush. And I love this thing. And it's perfect for that really like wrapped sort of look. That's the look that I was going for. Like the round brush, big voluminous curl sort of look. And as you can see, I got the perfect little bouncy look just with a little bit of twirling. I also use my Pantene air spray to kind of set those waves and the way this hair held, hair held a curl was surprising. I didn't expect the bounce to stay, but it looks so good. It I think it I don't know if it was the round brush or the hair or a combination of both, but the way the curl stayed and the wave stayed, it looked amazing. It was so easy to style. This is so perfect for beginners to just toss on and if this is your first time, this is the type of wig that you need to try out. Now, I will leave a link for this unit as well as the coupon code down below so you can get some money off. Go ahead and check it out. Thank you again to RPG Show for sponsoring this portion of this video. Now, let's go ahead and get into the face. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the face now that the hair is done. Oh my God, like this hair, I'm starting to love no baby hairs. So let's drink something. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into the face. And of course, I'm gonna say we're gonna make it quick, but are we gonna make it quick? <laughs> we'll see. I need to go ahead and pull this hair back so you know it's headband time. Y'all, the way I put on headbands, I feel like I make my arms look like a kangaroo. Like, I don't even, mm -mm. See, look at my arms. Like, oh. <laughs> okay, so I, I do mostly like a, like for day-to-day -day looks, I do mostly concealer. And that's how I like it. Of course, I use the same product for my face because y'all know every other primer breaks me out. Like if it's a spray down primer, I cannot do it. So I'm gonna use my, use my NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Spray. I love this stuff. It primes the face and it adds like a little bit of moisture. So where's my fan? Oh, I got a fan in my bag. Yes, oh. I, I, my foundation I've been liking has been a concealer. Y'all know I'm a concealer girly. I like coverage, but I don't like a lot like all over my face. So we're just going to be doing like a mix of concealer and well, two types of concealer. So the first concealer that I'm putting down is the MAC NC 45 24 hour studio fix concealer. Y'all, I love this concealer. Then I'm going to use the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW45 to lay down as oh i think i'm gonna use one and a can i do a half one it should be pretty close to my skin tone we mix it together and i dab it on the face like i feel like that should be pretty close girl i don't know <laughs> it's always a guess for me i use a sponge and i'm gonna dab it on see oh girl it's blending right into the skin i know that's right this is the first time i got it right <laughs> so i'm just gonna dab it onto the areas that have some discoloration my skin is getting a lot better i found some good products even though i'm on steroids i found a lot of i found like a couple of like i feel like these products are like changing my skin so um 
and it's been helping it heal it and I tried so much stuff. So the new products, I'm probably gonna do a skincare routine just for those of you that have dermatitis, because apparently I'm a dermatitis girly. I, hopefully this one works for you. I think I may try one more product, but y'all see that though? <gasps> it's like not too orange. Y'all know how I like to go too orange. Like this is not too orange at all. And it doesn't irritate my skin. I feel like, I don't know what it is, but I feel like SPF, like using sunscreen irritates my skin, which is so weird. I don't know what that's about, but every time I use SPF, my face like starts to itch, which is not good. I'm not gonna use new foundation. I'm just gonna plop the excess around the perimeter of the face, but I'm not using more new product. I'm just gonna drag it out. So, yeah girl, let's catch up. What's been going on? I think I catch up with y'all like all the time. So, what's I gonna talk to y'all about? I don't even know, girl. I'll show y'all what concealer I'm using. I'm using the NARS. NARS, is this Radiant Creamy Concealer? What is this? Is this the Radiant Creamy Concealer? Who is this? This is the NARS Concealer in the color uh, Medium Dark 2.6. It's the color Walnut. I think I need to go like one little tiny shade lighter, but I wanted to try NARS because I saw that all the girls have been using NARS and I was like, girl, I need to get on the train. And I had already been a matte girl and I didn't want to try out a concealer and then I not know what color I, I was and then I have to bring it back. Like, girl, I just be too lazy for that. <laughs> it's the nose, Cupid's bow, but I don't do Cupid's bow. I just do under the nose and chin. And then we're just gonna blend that out. What was I saying? So I, I don't know if y'all watched my last vlog, but I was saying that um, mental my mental health has been like, shot but after i edited that vlog i was like girl quit complaining and do something about it so i did something about it i haven't made my appointment yet that's not what i did i went i'm gonna start going to the gym in the mornings i'm also well i did go to the gym this morning it felt amazing that's something i used to do when i was working my full-time job i would work out before i went to work and sometimes i would even film it I would get up at like six, work out, come back, shower, then drive 45 minutes to my job at corporate, get off at, I think I got off at six. Okay, yeah, I got off at six. I would get home and film. Like, I was like hustling. So I need to get back to like that mentality because I think, I think sometimes it's easy to get trapped up in a really unhealthy cycle of like, doing whatever you want to do and kind of creating your own schedule and structure is so important to me so i'm going to get back to structure and what has helped me with structure is always working out i have been working out for the past 10 years consistently at least two to three times a week i mean i fall off sometimes but consistently it was two to three times a week and lately for the past like years and some other things have happened um i've only been working out like once a week hasn't been a year it's like the past i would say six months realistically i've been working out once a week and that's not okay i need to move for my serotonin levels and all that type of stuff i gotta do it for my mental health i have to move i also have been standing and working because this desk that i have i'm just telling y'all all the stuff i've been doing to help myself in my mental health instead of sitting down all day which it's terrible for my gut, girl. My whole stomach has been a mess. Y'all already know about that. I've been standing and working. Oh my God. It's been so, 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 so helpful to stand up and work instead of sitting down. Like, oh girl, I been should have had did it. So I'm gonna set my face using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I decided that if I'm not working out, I'm gonna go on a walk in the morning, just get some fresh air and just picture my day and how it's gonna go. Um, I did that last, wait, this week, I did that. And try and schedule more time and prioritize time with friends. That is really, really important to me as well. And of course, my husband and I, and I think this hasn't been helpful, we decided like we weren't gonna be going out uh, on the weekends in Atlanta because it's just like, girl, it's just not good here. But I love going out. I love being amongst the people. I love good food. I love drinks. I just love being you know like i don't like being like amongst a lot of people but i just like to be in the mix but atlanta has been trash so um yeah girl 
So yeah, I'm gonna try and do all those things that I used to do before I started, you know, I quit my corporate job because I felt like I didn't even notice it, but that stuff was keeping my mental healthy. Like doing all that stuff kept my mental health together and I need to get back to that. Oh, and one other thing I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get that walking treadmill. I was watching Brie, what's her name? Brianna Brie here on YouTube. She's also on TikTok. She got one of those, um, like those little treadmills for under your desk. I want one of those. I just need to keep my body moving. Cause when I don't move, girl, I'm irritated. I'm over it. I had an attitude and I just can't be walking around like that. I just can't. I can't, I can't do that no more. Girl, I look like Casper. I need to turn on that light in the living room. It's dark, like in my house is dark right now. And um, I don't like that. And when I'm looking out, all I see is black. And baby, I'm afraid of the dark. I'm 36 years old and I'm afraid of the dark. And I'm not scared to admit it. Let me find, a, I'm gonna put on a bright light too. Living room. Okay, the lights on. Girl, I can't do that. Mm -mm, I don't like that. <laughs> but yeah, what have y'all, what do y'all do like when you're down? Cause when we did talk about, like when I talked about it in the video, everybody had really good advice. All of y'all had great advice on how y'all keep your mental health going and what your suggestions were for me, which I truly, truly appreciate. Even if it's not something that's in my wheelhouse or it's something that I would do, I appreciate the love and care that y'all have to even suggest anything to me. I love y'all so much. I really appreciate it. This is the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder. I think one other thing too that I would like to do is stop. I need to get off social media. Because this is what I do, I'm on social media a lot more than, or a person that doesn't do this for a living is. Like we all are on social media a lot, but I'm on social media a lot. You don't need a cream bronzer underneath this. This is like super duper pretty and it's really, really rich. We need to go out to those outlets to go and get like more makeup products because this one came from the CCL, CCS, CC, wherever it came from. I always forget, CCS. Okay, under the chin. And girl, we are almost done. I think the one thing though that I realized, like I came into, like I've been doing wigs this whole time that I've been on YouTube and on social media. I love wigs because I've been wearing wigs since I was 18 years old. Half wigs, girl, I've been a wig girl since I was 18. So I've been doing wigs since my first video. And the one thing, the one thing that I don't, that has been like, I had to come to grips with is that um, it's almost not seen as beauty. Like wigs are not seen as beauty. It's not in the same category as beauty. And I think there are many reasons for that, but because it's not really seen as beauty, um, trying to technically cross over when it's not even crossing over, but like working with other brands outside of wigs, no matter how great I am at wigs, it doesn't cross over to other brands. Like they don't look at my wig videos and say like, oh, she would be great for this makeup product. For this industry, I feel like wigs are not, this industry is not appreciated as beauty amongst the whole beauty community. Okay, the blush I wanna use is the Lip Bar Blush in the color um, in Boss Moves. It's the Boss Moves palette. Shout out to Lip Bar. I love those girls. And the reason why it really bothers me is because I'm gonna use my brow pencil. Is this the Auburn one? No, this is Brunette. Mm, I need espresso. Doing wigs or entering this industry, a lot of black women that enter into beauty and want to be influencers start by doing wigs because I feel like it's the easiest entry. Like doing wigs is not, girl, doing makeup. Doing wigs is doing wigs, girl. That is a lot of work, a lot of work. It requires the most labor to promote or review wigs. It has the most labor, but the least recognition. That's what it is. And I feel like it should have more. I just feel like it should have more, not just for me, but for like other people that are entering, like this is a valid part of the industry. And I just feel like we should see it as a valid part of the industry. I don't know if I explained any of that correctly, but if you know what I meant, you know what I meant. I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. Hopefully y'all can help me explain it. Cause I feel like I just ran my mouth and I may even cut all this out because I don't even know if I made any sense 
at all, you know? So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use, oh, this is one of my newer products, the NYX Wonder Stick in the color dark. I think it's dark. I'm gonna use the highlighter and I'm gonna use it on my sponge. So I like to do it like this. I like to squeeze it on the sponge and then take my beauty blender or my blender, whatever you call this, and then add it to the face. When I tell you we love a glow, I'm so happy the highlighter came back because I feel like the girls, I was one of them girls that wasn't wearing highlighter, but highlighter is back, friend. So, so in order to moisturize my lips, y'all, this is my favorite. I use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love this lip sleeping mask. When I tell you it keeps my lips soft and I got the driest lips, oh, girl, it's just a horror over here. Is this the right? Yeah, this is right. I think. Is that right? Let me try this one. Okay, so, no. This one's, I think it's deep. Why do they look about the same? Okay, so I'm going to use the NYX Wonder Stick in the color Deep, and I'm gonna use it as a lip liner. So, I did this the other day, and I was like, ooh, cause I couldn't find my uh, Rebel Kind lip liner, so I was like, oh, this is cute. Do that. This contour stick, like the tone, doesn't work with my um, cheeks for it to contour, but for my lips, it is perfection. It gives me like that perfect, like nudie look. So I use that for the outside. But wait one second. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Peach Stop. Now I don't even know, I found this at the CCS, CCO, wherever. It's way too light for my lips. But when I combine it with this color, oh babe. It is a look, not, not right now. It's not a look right now, but it will be in a second. I'm gonna take my uh, Too Faced Lip, in Lip Injection Extreme Lip Gloss. I'm gonna add that to the lips. And I feel like this gives me like, uh-oh. The perfect, like, Nudish lip. I don't like how this. I think I muddied it. Mm, no, I did the lips wrong. Dang it. <laughs> Girl, my battery's are dry. I can't be playing. I did it wrong. Girl, it's like the cicadas out there. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the center. That's it. There we go. It's gotta be deep in the center, too. Mm -hmm. And I'll let the rest spread itself out. Okay, now I'm gonna add the lip gloss again because I, girl, I did it all wrong. There we go. Is there much of a difference? I don't think so, but in my mind, it is. Now all I need to do now is spray down the face, get the face moisturized because she's looking a little, she's looking a little dry. Is my highlighter highlightering? I feel like it is. My skin looking dry though, so. Whew. I don't inhale, I do this every time. I inhale the product, girl. Let's fan this face. Shout out to the fan. I've had this for months. <laughs> Forgot I had it. So we're gonna let the face dry. I think it's mostly dry. Oh, it's looking better. Yes, the face is mostly dry. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some earrings. And then we're gonna close out the video so we can peace out. What's up with the kiss? I didn't even know that was gonna be a thing. Hey okay, y'all, this is the finished look. Hopefully you enjoyed this get ready with me. Girl, baby, the wig. This is the finished look. Oh no, I didn't put on my earrings. It's not the finished look, girl. I had these earrings from Amazon. Can you see? They're like the, t everybody, these are teardrop earrings, but they're not like the big bulbous kind. They're just kind of like teardroppy. They're cute, but they're not, you know what I'm saying? They're not the big drops. I like those big drops, but I'm not. Girl, the girls that be buying them things up. So I just, I just stuck with these and I think they're cute. They're adorable. You see? You know, they don't really go on my outfit. They don't really go on my top. 
my sleeping time, but girl, it is what it is. Y'all tell me what you think about everything that we talked about down below. You let me know about your health journey, mental health journey, what you do to keep yourself high, and what you think about the wigs and stuff that I was talking about. Girl, I don't even know if, like, if y'all know what I meant, but hopefully you know what I meant. Hopefully you enjoyed this, get ready with me. I enjoyed chatting with y'all, catching up with y'all. And I wanna say thank you again to RPG Show for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. I'm so grateful. I mean like, ah, it's so exciting because I've always loved their wigs. So I truly appreciate them coming through for your girl. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.